Alright, so I think we are good. Um, time jump. Timing starts on file select. So once I hit start here, we should be starting the timer. So I'm gonna do a countdown here. Three, two, one, go. Um, sorry, I'll just jump in real quick. Um, because I forgot to mention as well that the mic audio is coming through Discord, not through the streaming device you're using. Um, so the first part of all the intro and all that didn't really go through to to the stream. Here. So. I apologize if you want to, like, go over that again if you've got some time. Okay, I can go over them again. Sorry. So basically, um, there are three things we're going to be mentioning throughout this run. They are four skips, eight skips, and death skips. And so a four skip is where, basically, micro games can come in two sets. They can be eight in-game seconds, or they can be 16 in-game seconds. And so, if you complete a micro game fast enough in the 16 second mark, then you can actually save 8 in game seconds. And if you do it fast enough, but like, you aren't fast enough to get the 8 skip, you can still get a 4 skip. So you can skip 4 in game seconds. And so, what death skips are is where you purposely fail a minigame to force in a 4 skip or an 8 skip. Um, there are around 10 of these throughout the run. Um, and yeah, I think that is all I really need to explain. I mean, I guess there is one more thing, but it's not really a part of the mechanics. And it's that... Um, micro games are not random from the sets. They are actually... There's actually like a set of them, and they are randomly picked from that set. So I guess it is random, but not exactly. So, like, let's take Jimmy, for example, the next one. Basically, his micro games, um, there's around 20 possible that you can get, but you only have 15. You only have 15 total from Jimmy. And so you can actually plan out which micro games you're gonna get, but not really. So, like, it is RNG which ones you do get, but you actually know which ones are gonna be in the RNG reel. It is kind of complicated. But Jimmy is pretty easy, considering he's the first actual one, aside from the introduction, which is Wario. We're gonna be seeing Wario, um, I think three times throughout the run? I mean, I guess technically four, but I don't count the fourth one. Because it's not an introductory one, it's actually the final boss or whatever. And there is actually a storyline, but it is really complicated. So if you want to watch it, then go on YouTube and search up the WarioWare Gold trailer, or like the WarioWare Gold cutscenes. And then you can look at the first two, and then I think those explain the story pretty well. Uh, so like I said, a lot of the early ones are pretty easy because it's just mashing, which basically means it's only the D-pad or the circle pad and the A button. Sometimes the B button, oh, like and basically just that. No, my, and we my. can't really do an 8 skip or a 4 skip there, because it has to play through the nice animation. Oh, yeah. oh I feel that one. It doesn't matter, because we have 3 lives. Too bad. Uh, it's heating up. That one, it doesn't really matter. But, see, that's an 8 skip there, since we did it so fast. It skips the few in-game seconds we had there. Oh yeah, by the way, I'd like to mention, four skips are not possible on eight eight second in-game second minigames. Or micro games, I guess. I keep on confusing minigames and micro games for some reason. That's just something weird about me. So Leek has this is just like a punch out thingy. You can quickly dodge and punch. So yeah, pretty easy. There was another version that of this boss later on in the run that killed so many of my runs when I was going for a 51. And it was kind of funny. Um, I'll be talking about that boss later. I'll probably fail on it at least once, I'm betting. So now that this is Mona, I'm gonna be doing a strat in the boss called Double Hammer. So basically, you're supposed to be using a hammer 
to nail something into to nail a nail into a wood or something. And usually what you do is like it goes back and forth, so you do it like once and then it goes over once. But it turns out if you mash the A button, you can actually get in two hits on the hammer. Meaning it only has to go back and forth three times, um, aside from six. It only saves two seconds, but it's easy peasy, so there's no reason to not go for it. Also, Mona has the longest set of micro games. Um, she has 18 in her set. Or not really in the entire set, but like the most that you can get from this. You did. Okay. So I'm gonna be explaining this a bit differently because this is super complicated to me. Or to, to explain to you guys, I guess. But basically, Mona has the most in her micro game set with 18. That was great. But she has 25 in her micro game list. Okay, so I want to be aware that the set is going to be the character. It's going to be the character amount. You did. And the list is going to be the amount of micro games inside that can be Stunning. can be inside of that um, set. <laughs> I'm gonna stop explaining this. This is getting a bit too complicated for you guys. <laughs> Just know that there's a difference between set and list, okay? Stunning. Um, Keep almost okay. nearly on here. Uh, hopefully I can get double you hammer. Cause there is the off chance that you can fail double hammer. And just like lose around, I think, 10 seconds or something. Cause you there's a mini cutscene that plays before the actual boss. So I have to not miss it. <laughs> it's kind of like 2D skip for Mario Odyssey, where it only saves two seconds. But if you fail it, it loses like so much time. Alright, I'm gonna be showing off. This is Double Hammer, guys. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. That's Double Hammer. Pretty easy. But it is also easy to screw up, you know? I found the like 2D up. skip. I guess I'm wondering why, how I tilted it so fast. Um, basically, you can turn that by either twisting the entire device or by, like, use, turning it by using the touch screen. Um, so there are two death skips. And dribble and spits. And there's a eight count that can either be a death skip or it can be in nice. an eight count or a four count, I guess, that it's a death skip that leads into a four count, or it can be like a super fast micro game that can lead into a four skip. Holy smokes! And so it is good to- it's 50-50 RNG for that one, by the way. Not the, the one I just did, but the, the one I was just talking about. This one, so I, I have to mash here. Okay, so that was a four skip, but I lost the life. And since there's two death skips here, and like a half death skip, I guess, that means I have to be kind of careful on the boss, because it can be easy to screw up the boss here. So, that's a death skip. That skips, um, that's an 8 skip, by the way. 8- a death skip that leads into an 8 skip. Uh, sorry if I talk too much, that's just a big problem with me. Nice. Alright, I wonder if I'm gonna get the second death, death skip micro game or not. Egg. This is what this marathon is. It's cool. Okay. I am a gamer. I know how to press the key then. Oh, yeah, one thing I need to address, okay? Spitz, the kitty on the right, he's the best character in this game. Okay. I need to address this. He is the best. Also, I got really lucky there. 
I didn't get the second death skip micro game, which means I don't have to be careful on the boss. So what I used to do is just memorize the pattern of these, but I realized that spamming here is actually better. So I just spam at the beginning here. And I guess the end, but not, not as much for the end. Because I need to hit this thing, which wipes out a ton of these at the top. So it's 50-50 whether he goes left or right. I used to just pick a direction, and if it didn't go that way, I'd reset. But now I realize that I can just quickly react to which direction he goes, and then hit a cycle for that direction. So I think he mostly goes right, but he can go left. Okay, so he went left. So he can hit this cycle here, hit those two, and then he can grab this. Okay, that was pretty good, I guess. Basically, that first hit right there basically determines everything else. Alright, so now we have 5 volt, which is, um... Now we have only Nintendo games for 15 micro games, which is pretty cool. The Nintendo games are always the greatest. So 5 volt is actually a new character in this game. This is 9 volt and 18 volts mom. Actually, wait, that's right. It's actually only 9 volts mom. I think 18 volt is only like a friend of 9 volt in the Water universe or something. Okay. You can get in at 4 skip there if you're really lucky with the balloon spawns, but I don't get that too often. That's it. Alright. Speeding up. Come on, guys. We gotta get Mommy very buff. Okay. I think a good one on there is 6.7. But we still got an 8 skip, so it doesn't matter that much. And for some reason, you can only do a 4 skip here. Not an 8 skip for some reason. I think it's because of Push Mo's animation. Or something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Virtual Boy reference. That's gonna be the only time Nintendo references Virtual Boy, by the way. Perfect. Ever. Don't so now we're gonna make a kid cry, you know, because we didn't get the joker. It's, it's kind of sad, you know? Yes. Come on, guys! Get buffed faster! Um, eight count minigame, so no four skip. Oh yeah, Rhythm Heaven is the best series, by the way. If you guys haven't played Rhythm Heaven Fever yet, go! Go grab your Wii, homebrew it, download Wii Flow, go go get a USB drive, and download Rhythm Heaven Fever. Because that game is so good. I need more people to play it, and I feel like this is the perfect time to advertise it. Ah! There we go. You got an 8 skip too. I mean, the 8 skips aren't actually that bad. I mean, the 8 skip there is like super easy, but you know. So now we're gonna play ball, but can't be too hard with it, because there's a long animation that plays, so we're just trying to get it slow, like under 50 meters, or hit it late. 17 meters I think is the lowest you can go. Okay, we got really lucky there. Alright, so we did really good baseball right there. So now we're done with the mesh micro game, so now we're gonna do the twist micro games. Um, we're gonna get a little cutscene from Wario that we're just gonna skip. So now I end up twist. Oh yeah, so the next one is Ashley, by the way. Next set of micro games is Ashley for those Ashley fanboys out there. I mean, I personally think Ashley's okay. I don't really like her. Um, I don't like her over Spitz, though. Spitz will always be my favorite. Mostly because he's a cat. And they love meows. We're getting the apples. There we go. I think I remember on my old WarioWare splits um, for this game. For my Wario splits, since I was doing splits for every single character, for every single set of them, uh, I think I had like the first one is this Wario. Second one is Wario, and then again, and then the second one is Wario again, and then the third one was Wario again times two. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a really long, this is a really long boss, by the way. Um, if you have anything like bits or donations, you can read them out because this is kind of stupid and long. I 
I mean, I bet there. I don't know if there's any, but you know, you guys can look at your phone for a moment or two. Uh, unfortunately, there's no new donations at the moment. Unfortunately, come on, guys, we need bits. One bit is one cent. Donate one cent to charity. Alright, boss is over. It's actually time now. Actually, boss is always so weird. Um, I did find out a way to make the actual boss a lot easier for me, though. Because I used to suck at it, but I found out that I was doing it wrong. Yeah, so is Ashley. And she brought along red because why not? You know? Pocus, pocus. Oh yeah, since the... Here, hang on. Good night, skip here. Okay, we got it. Okay, so Ashley is probably one of the hardest eight skips. It's basically where you have to do a locker combo or something. Or not really a locker combo, I mean like a lock or something. And there's two numbers. It's random which two numbers they are. So you need to react like super quickly, and if you're really lucky and really fast, you can get a eight skip there here. Oh dang it, I missed it barely. Still got a you can still get a four skip there. It's four skip is pretty free, but you know. Yo! I see. I see. Yeah, he's a happy boy. Happy. Can we get some happy emotes in chat, please? I'm not looking at chat, but can we still get some happy emotes? This one doesn't matter, it's an 8 count. There aren't- I don't think there are any 8 skips in... Um, Ashley's micro games. Oh yeah, there is one, I think. Or I mean, like, death skips. This one, even though it is... <laughs> I don't know why he went left. But even though it is eight of them, even though it is like a 16 count micro game, for some reason, if you fail that, it still plays out the entire micro game for some reason. So it doesn't matter whether you do it correctly or not. I don't know what the heck happened to me going right though. Okay. Yay! They're reunited. Angels. Peace out. It's like. Oh yeah, so this is a skip that saves around 5 seconds. Death skip to 8 count, those are the most powerful ones, the death skip to 8 oh, counts. Yes. So this boss makes no sense, you think it's like all scary and stuff, but nah. You're just crossing some children, get to their houses, you know. Then they fall into the sea if they die. Oh yeah, and there's ostriches and they're faster than the children. I don't know why ostriches got in the neighborhood, but... Okay. I like this music, by the way. This is another sort of auto scroller boss, like this wrist one. I mean, like the white one. That was close, by the way. I almost screwed that up. All right. This boss can be a bit scary at times, you know. I thought you had to line up the platforms with like the actual blocks, but no, you can just lean them down all the way, and it's the exact same effect. It's kind of weird. Okay, so this next one is Dr. Craigler. I don't know if any of you guys like Dr. Craigler. I like him a lot. I like his old design more, though. Sad that they switched it over to his full head being a robot. It used to only be half, and it looked really cool, but now it's his entire head. Hey guys, do you get it? It's because Wario wears smooth moves. Also, how did I not screw that up? What the heck, man? I wish I could get buff from doing two sit-ups. Yay! Yay! I learned how to dodge volleyball. I am now 500 IQ. You know, did he, what? How did he get that rose? And when did he get it? Did he get it in between him winning? I don't know. Because he would have seen it during the thing if it was. It was like that. 
There is achievement in that in this game where if you go around the other side, you actually get an achievement for that, and it's kind of funny. Murder all the chickens! I wanted to murder them all, but I couldn't. Yay! Big boy hands. Looking for a job. Whoa! That's really. <sighs> hustle time. Time to hustle. Yay! Apu girl. Quite. Eat food. Oh yeah, in case you guys are wondering how many hours I have in this game, I think I have around 50. I have like 50 in the actual game, and then I have two hours in the demo. That's right, I was so hyped for this game. I bought it day one. It is completely worth it though. Looking for a job? <laughs> Alright, so should we have lost stage? So this one, there is actually an in-game timer. And you can get a 16, but a low 17 is pretty good, but um, a 16 is really good. So this is the part where I actually look at my OBS, because I kind of got to like jack off with my 3DS while I jump at the same time. That's kind of hard to see. Dang it. I jumped by accident and it screwed me over. Come on. This is going to be like an 18, right? Yeah, low 18. That kind of sucks, but whatever. It's only like a second loss or something. Alright, now we have better micro games because we have 18 volt now. 18 volt became a rapper now, apparently. He's a rapper. Oh yeah, there's a new character in 18 volts thing now. It's called 13 amp or something. And like, we're going the rap battle because she stole- because 13 amp stole this kid's games. And now they're having a rap battle to see who is who is the better rapist to get the games back? <laughs> rapist, that is such an odd word. Look at this Mario for you. Look at that, that's gamer. Okay, the boss here is kind of funny. Yo, yo, yo. No. We. I don't know if, um, if there's any death skips in 18 volt. Oh. Nice in. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I am amazing at the aiming. Oh, oh, yo, I like that little reference there. There's an 8 skip there, by the way. You can get an 8 skip here, but it's almost- it's like so hard, it's almost impossible. Also, that's gonna be the only time they ever mention Sunshine. Ever. Oh yeah, that's- this is a death skip, I just realized. I found that out a while ago. That's the new count, can't skip anything. I almost forgot that was a death skip right there. Yellow. Easy 8 skip. Alright, so this is the WarioWare Twisted 9 volt boss, I think. So you go through 1 1, except you have to tilt the screen to move. So what you can do is you can be super weird with the controls by holding it this way for a second and then going back. And now you're just at hyper speed. Okay, 184. 185 is the best you can get because 186 gives you fireworks. And that wastes, like, I think, five to six seconds. What? So you have to wait at the beginning, man. He got his games back. Best. You did it, 18 volt! You're a god gamer! Oh yeah, Penny time. I like Penny in this game. They brought her back from Smooth Moves. Penny has had no cameo appearances in any of the WarioWare games since Smooth Moves. Probably because it was the last proper WarioWare game, now that I think about it. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess I got an achievement there. Good job, me. Well done. This is my favorite Michael game in the entire game, because you get a kitty! Alright, if you're wondering what's going on here, Super. basically, um, I think 
Kenny was trying out some sort of singing thingy that lets you like have a higher pitch. And, like she was trying to test it on Dr. Kreigler, but the chemicals are like deadly or something. And now he's like dying or so I don't know. It's kind of weird. But he has like a higher pitched voice. And he's trying to get it out. And Penny has this other thing that like tries to cure them. And now they're like battling each other or some crap in the stomach. Oh yeah, guys, for those who didn't take, um, any sort of health class in school, this is an accurate representation of how the stomach works against fighting off viruses. We have the kitty in the background. It's like, good job. Kitties. He's so sad. Can we get an F? Can we get an F in the chat because there's no candy? Aw, oh, dang. Oh, shoot, I still got an 8 scoop. I think Penny has 17, I believe. 17 in her set. Yo! Alright. So now, there are kids here. They're trying to go to the bathroom after a movie theater. But apparently, they don't- they're all blind, apparently. They need to figure out which thing is the poop, and which thing is the pee. This other guy's gotta go pee. We got James Charles over here, he's gotta go poop. <laughs> this is sort of a funny one to me. We got another James Charles, dude. They're going fast! And now that's it for the twist micro games. Now it's time for touch. Which is the best and worst part. Uh, the best and worst part of the run. Because it has some of the best characters. But it also has some of the worst bosses. And the thing is that I have to use a 2DS XL stylus. Because I couldn't find my regular sized ones from back when I had a DS and stuff. And if you don't know already, the 2DS XL styluses are super small. <laughs> like, I'm talking probably half of the size of a regular stylus on regular 3DS or whatever. There is one 8 skip in Touch, I think, in these introduction micro games. And you're always gonna get it, because in Wario's sets, um, he has seven in his game list. And there's seven of my group games you do in total in a set. So you're always gonna get it. So like, this one's gonna be the eight skip one. Okay. Yeah, you can sort of see that. Just super easy. Oh yeah, one thing I wanna mention is that the next thing is Cat Nana. Um, I wanna get a poll in chat, or more or less a vote, I guess. Um, who is better? Cat or Anna? Who is the better one? Um I want to be aware that, my personal opinion, Anna is better. Anna will always be best. Since I'm using a touch stylus now, I, I'm gonna be using, um... I'm gonna be touching for this. Um... <laughs> I feel bad, because basically, we're restreaming this off of my Twitch page because VLC was being weird. And now there's someone inside of my chat right now. Wondering what's going on. <laughs> my mic is muted in my stream. Feels bad, man. Cool moves. Oh yeah, so there's something... There's a micro game in Kananama that always shows up. Where you have to draw a Japanese symbol. This is a free 4 count, by the way. I think 4 scoop. But you have to draw a four Japanese symbol. Or character, I guess. And... Like... You can get it exactly how they want you to, but it just won't count. So you kind of have to be lucky for if it counts it or not. And if you get really lucky, you can get an 8 skip. And you can get like a fast 8 skip where you actually complete the micro game. But since it's not in the first 5 micro games, like how it always is, it might not be in this specific set, but who knows. This one, no matter how fast you play it, you will not be able to get a 4 skip. 
kind of weird because grandma needs to clap for us. Awesome! Yee! Happy! No way! No way! Dang. That went super weird. Keep it together. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, like, I think Cat and I are trying to become ninjas. And I think this ninja lady brought them into Perfect. this place where they gotta eat a bunch of sushi stuff. Or something. Or we become a samurai master or something. Cool. And then after the set is master. over, there's a cutscene that plays- Oh yeah, by the way, that's a micro game. But, but after the set, there's like a cutscene that plays and it turns out that, like, the actual part where you were supposed to get the ninja training and stuff, you were supposed to, um... He was in the bathroom the entire time, and he was the one who was supposed to be teaching the ninja lessons, and it's kind of funny. Alright, this boss sucks. We have to build a cake, and we need to get a 60 points or higher. And I mean, it is pretty easy and stuff, because you can be pretty generous and stuff, but you know. And plus I've memorized the entire thing. At least the music here is good. I'm gonna do a smiley face for you guys. It doesn't matter, we still got it. <laughs> We're going to get it no matter what. What?! <laughs> okay! <laughs> sure. <laughs> Damn, alright, that's a huge time loss. If this was on one record pace, which I bet it's not. <laughs> That's really funny to me, though. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself, Gus. Wanna be safe here? Okay, that should be good enough. I swear to god, if I screw this up twice... Thank you! <laughs> I don't know how that last one didn't pass. Because that was almost exactly like the one I just made. And it didn't pass. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me, dude. I don't think I've ever failed that micro game in an actual speedrun. I think my world record got 61 points. Oh yeah, we're getting good micro games now. Because it's 9 volt time. So I guess the boss is probably the most complicated one. Um, there's basically three cycles, or I guess four possible cycles yeah. that you can get. I don't really like to call them cycles, but just like sets of cycles you can get. So there's first cycle. Okay, so I should probably explain the boss real quick. Basically, you need to get the- you need to use the ultra hand to get fish from a guy's back pocket for three kitties while avoiding a crab. It's kind of weird, but like... Um, there's first cycle where you get all the fish without the man turning around looking at you. Every time he turns around and looks at you, it wastes around, I think, five seconds. Because he has to go back. But basically, first cycle, you don't get him to turn around. Second cycle, you get him to turn around on the last kitty. And then, third cycle is where you get him to turn around on the second kitty, which if anything is better than second. What? For some reason- or I guess second- third is the one where you get- I don't know if I said this correctly or not. Yeah. Third cycle is where the guy turns around on the second ki kitty. And then, four plus cycle, or whatever, as I like to call it. Basically, they- he turns around more than twice, or he turns around twice or more. So if he turns like on the first one or the second one. I don't think you can get him to turn around on the first one though. Yeah. Hey, that's the console I'm playing on. <laughs> Alright, sorry if that is a bit um complicated, but you'll see. Ah dang. You can get up four skips there, but I messed up the route for that boomerang a little bit. So cool. Alright, we're gonna try to get first oh, cycle here. We got first cycle. Okay, cool. That's the fastest you can get for that micro game. 
Or for that you boss, I guess. It. Um... That makes up for the amount of time I lost in Cat Nana. It's like, Cat Nana's cool enough, but the boss kind of sucks because it's super long. And you can fail it like that accidentally. Oh yeah, so when it's one of his speed up animations, Ready. Young Cricket says speed run. So once he said speed run in either three or nine micro games, I want you all in the chat to spam speed run. Pretty good. Cause he's gonna say it, Rin, you know. Great technique. Free foreskin. Okay, oh, <laughs> he did it. Spam speed run. <laughs> You can't skip anything here, because he has to play through the entire animation of the skiing thingy. Hey! This is a death skip. This is a new one that I didn't do in my world record. That's a four skip. Four deaths. Four skip. Four death skip, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. But he says the secret of my success is a bowl of curry every day. So if you guys want to get world record in something, in a game like Mario Odyssey, Mario 64, or anything, just have a bowl of curry every day. Sweet. Oh yeah, there's a little Easter egg right there. I'm not! I'm in speedrun! I don't know what pace this is on right now, hopefully it's good. It probably isn't because of cat though, or just cat mana. <laughs> Three, four, eight skip, I guess. Just gotta know what direction you gotta spam or something. Cool. Ding. He only checks at the end. Oh yeah, so this ending boss is actually just a bowling. You have four balls. It's most optimal Great. to get a strike. So you should probably get a strike here. Ah, oh, damn, I, I screwed up my angle too far to the right. Alright, what am I doing? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I think it lost over. I think it lost like 10 seconds or something. Actually, no, it's more like 7. Cool. Oh yeah, another thing that is slightly- That slightly hinders my performance is that Homebrew actually makes loads, I think, a little bit slower. Then when it needs to be. Oh, yeah, Orbulon, he's good boy. Shout out to Benetroid, oh, or Loaf of Pumpkin Seeds, whatever the hell. Because Orbulon is great. So, this is familiar. Um, I think he was going out to get some burgers at a place, but they did not have hamburgers. So, he is collecting the hams. For the hamburgers. That's why he's collecting pigs. HD so pigs, good. by the way. Free for eight skip, by the way. Fun. Faster. How many of you guys in chat like Orbulon? Better be a high amount. He's a pretty cool gamer. This is a eight skip that I didn't know about in my world record. If you don't know already, if you hold it up, you get a fourth skip if you do like a micro game and do it correctly. Like, no matter what. Oh, yeah, there's another death skip, by the way. Fourth to eight skip. Not fortunate. Shoo! Fuck, 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 Dang it. Eight, eight skip is optimal there. Oh, come on. I could have gotten an 8 skip there, but um, I got screwed. Oh yeah, another thing I need to explain. Let the boss? Orbulon has the worst boss, by the way. Basically, so um, it's complete RNG. It's like, if you guys know Game & Wario, it's the fruit <laughs> It's the fruit game from Game & Wario. And you need to find the person who stole the fruit, but it's RNG whether he's on the second page and what the actual character is, so you can't actually predict it. So it's kind of weird, you know? Uh, free skip, by the way. Alright, we're doing the boss now. 
Um, you guys can sort of see, I'll probably fail it at least once, I'm assuming, which means around 20 seconds. Um, but you'll know I do good if I get the achievement. If you hear the achievement noise. Uh, I think it's this person. Get back here. Let's go. Okay, we did pretty good. I'm surprised. Somehow, we never get that kind of luck. I got pretty horrible luck on mine. Um, and then he finds out the place doesn't let him... Uh, doesn't let him turn in the hands. And now he's screwed. Oh yeah, now it's time for the Ultra League. This is where every single type of micro game is shown. Plus there's microphone micro games. So, this is gonna be cool. So this is the dancing team set. Oh, really? Oh my god, I got screwed. Yeah, because of the boss, you don't really want to lose things. So if there's a death skip or something, I'm probably not gonna go for it. Because um, in Ultra League, every single micro game is um, totally every single set is 22. Aside from the last one, the last one is 25. There's two 22, and then the last one's 25. Cool. If you don't know already, we're nearing the end of the game. Success. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a twist micro game. I did that one earlier, I don't know why I thought- Yikes! I did the blow! Yes he does. I approve. Twist! It's heating up! Twist! Yeah! I answered the phone. It is in fact the way. That's the way. So the good thing about this game is that if you game over, you did. Um, you are able to continue if you spend a hundred, and you're automatically given. I think nice. 10,000 coins at the beginning of the game. So, we're gonna have enough no matter what. I'm still mad about Cat and Nana. <laughs> Success! Yeah, mash! Keep up, man. Whoa! Way to go. You did it! Uh, all of the Mikuni games are just blow as hard as you can. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god, of course I'm cooking near the end, man. Yikes! Am I like this? <laughs> Please! Yay! Sushi. Yo! Horrible micro game, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm getting blue, it's good. All right, this boss sucks because if I screw up the last punch, then he's able to kill me in one shot. Thank God, okay. We clutched it there. Oh boy. All right. That's good. Now we have the far better Ultra League. Looking good. Um, called again. I can't remember. Why can I not remember this? Oh, Potluck Gang. Potluck Gang is much better. Mostly because it has Spitz and it has Ashley Starting and it has Nyan and Five Volt. Five Volt best mommy, by the way. Ba 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 da ba ba. Da, 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 da. Nice. We got hot dogs. Mm. Why does that nine volt in this game sound like a five year old? <laughs> That's always been a bit weird to me. <laughs> oh yeah. So all of. Well done. I was gonna say something, and then I realized. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Bullet time. That's the one micro game where you have to do something more than just blowing as hard as you can. You did it. Go away! Yes, now we have a perfect sheep family. We have obtained vacuum. I mean, we have obtained the paper. Okay, come on! Give me the good- give me the good crap. Yes! I got the good RNG there. I got the 50-50. There's no force skip there, by the way. Da -da 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 -da. Push more time. We did it. Da -da -da. I don't know why push mode's animation is so special. That's it. Yes. Okay, I barely, I barely did that one. By the way. Excellent. Two. Two Frank. That's the way. Two frog mi micro games in a row. Okay, that's a bit odd. You did it. How have we not lost a life in this yet? Nice. Awesome. Another fire emblem reference here. No fourth skip there, no matter what, for some reason. Oh yeah, so we're gonna be betting- we're both mommy is being put to the test with her pants because we're doing the baseball one again, except it's with buff mommy. In my world record, I lost five seconds to this micro game, or to this boss, because I missed the ball trying to go for a long shot. Okay, that's a bit slow. Okay, we did pretty good there. I think 21 is the lowest. Alright, the final set. Wario Deluxe with featuring Wario good. and Lulu. Do you want to know something I hate about Wario Deluxe? There's no time save there ever. It's always tied down to the exact same second. Whenever I gold the split, it's only by a few milliseconds. Okay. Probably because oh. I split early or something. And do you want to know why? Since there's music cues, the entire thing goes super low. And, um, every time there's a 60 count micro game, you have to wait through the entire micro game. Oh, yeah, so I guess this is the only instance where the amount of micro game is the exact same every single time. Like, the exact same order, I guess. Because it needs to line up the 8 and 16s. Hear me? Yeah, it's just like, look at how long we have to wait! So long, dude. Dun, dun. Okay, nice. Luckily, it does speed up later on, but like, still, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Easy now. Keep up. We! Waluigi time! That's why Waluigi's in its Smash. He's been perfecting Kung Fu skills. Wee. So it speeds up right about now. And now it's random which set, which style of micro game we get for like five. We have to react quickly. I would just use my finger, but like, no. For the touch, I mean, for these my Like, who uses their finger? Okay, that's five. Two down, yep. This is an eight count, by the way, because of music cue. And then there's a little cutscene we need to skip, and Lulu is trying to take over Wario now. Oh okay, yeah, that's the name of that little red, red um, bow girl, the little girl, I guess, no, just no. Lulu. Mm -hmm. 
Wario! He's right there! Yay! We have found Wario. But it doesn't matter whether you fail or win these. We. I suck at that one, by the way. This doesn't matter. Keep calm. Thanks. Keep calm. Keep calm. Da -da -da. Twist. He fell, but he's fine. Don't even worry about it. All right. So you'd think that the final boss is super climactic and stuff, but it's really not. You'll see what I mean. Oh yeah, why are you wearing ink? Final boss reference, by the way. So, it's if you're wondering, the boss is actually just copycat. You can see what I mean in a moment. <laughs> Would Wario want to be stepping on these people, by the way? Okay. It's ready for the most climactic boss ever. That actually is just an auto scroller. All right, so I'm gonna say, so time is when this game completely goes away. Not on the fade out, but um, like when it fades back into the Wario scene or whatever. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean in a moment. Like I'll tell you when it's time or something. Da <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be quiet because this last one is a microphone. And that is the end of Warrior Gold. Timing is once the micro game goes away. And... Time. And that is the end of Warrior Gold. Uh, I'm gonna let this final cutscene play out because it's a cutscene and I need you all to see it. Uh, what was my time? What? I lost? Who are you? Uh, according to the chat and everything, the final time was 52.27. 52.27? Oh, okay. I'm surprised I got that with the cat and Anna death. That could have maybe been close to- that could have maybe been a 51 if it wasn't for the death and the cat and Anna boss. Uh, alright, I'm pretty proud of that actually. I haven't really done this game too much recently. And I didn't really practice that much, but hey, I actually did pretty good. The, I think that's like I found the leaderboards or something. Uh, all right. Uh, just thank you guys for watching my game, I guess. Yep. And thank you for showing the run and everything.